covers the key of E flat minor. As always, we need to find our relative major key to understand our key signature. So, to find that relative major, we go up three half steps from the root of our minor scale. So if we're starting on E flat, we need to go up three half steps from there. So a half step above E flat is E, a half step above that is F, and then one more half step above that is G flat. So E flat minor and G flat major have the same key signature. Because we've memorized our circle of fifths, we know that G flat major has six flats. Six, it's a lot of flats. So in order, first we know the first four flats spell the word bead, right? So B, E, A, D, then the next flat is a G, and then the last flat that we add is a C flat. So one more time, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. All right, now that we got all the notes in the key signature, it's time to build our tonic triad. To build our tonic triad, we start on the tonic. So that comes from the name of the scale. We're in E flat minor. So the first note of our chord is E flat. Now we just have to stack our skips or our thirds to build the chord. So a third above E flat is a G, but because of our key signature, it's a G flat. And then a skip above that is a B, but because of the key signature, it is a B flat. So the three notes in our tonic triad, E flat, G flat, and B flat three black keys. So now we are ready to play this chord and its inversions. All right, we are going to play our tonic triad in root position. So E flat, G flat, and B flat, all three black keys, one, three, and five. Watch how the shape flips. So the E flat goes to the top, my pinky, fifth finger, second finger on B flat, thumb is over G flat. Make sure you feel comfortable over the keys. The black keys are smaller than the white ones. And then we're gonna flip the chord again. So the G flat goes to the top with my fifth finger, third finger over E flat, thumb over B flat. And now I'm gonna move my hand one more time. So I am in a root position, one, three, five over E flat, G flat, and B flat. Now we're gonna go back down. So my B flat is at the bottom with my thumb. Third finger is over E flat, pinky is over G flat. We're gonna flip the chord again. So the G flat is now at the bottom, second finger on B flat, fifth finger over E flat. And then we flip the chord one more time, back to root position, one, three, five, E flat, G flat, and B flat. for the left hand, five, three, and one over E flat, G flat, and B flat. All right, let's flip our chord. So the E flat is now on the top, thumb on E flat, third finger on B flat, pinky over G flat. Flip the chord again, so now the G flat's on top, thumb, second finger over E flat, and pinky over B flat. Now we flip the chord again, and we are back in our root position. Five, three, and one, E flat, G flat, and B flat. Now we're gonna flip the chord going back down. So that B flat goes to the bottom with our pinky, second finger over E flat, thumb over G flat. We flip the chord again. So now the G flat goes to the bottom with the pinky, third finger over B flat, thumb over E flat. Flip the chord one last time, and now we are back in root position. Five, three, and one, over E flat, G flat, and B flat.
Let's build our primary chords in the key of E flat minor. So we already built the first one, our tonic triad, E flat, G flat, and B flat. Now we have to build the subdominant and the dominant. The chords built off of the fourth and fifth notes of the scale. So let's go up and find the fourth note of our E flat minor scale. So E flat is one, next note is F, the next note is G flat, and then the fourth note is A flat. So we build our subdominant chord with the root of an A flat. Now we just stack our thirds. So a third above A flat is a C, but because of our key signature, that note is a C flat. And then a third above that is an E, but because of the key signature, it is an E flat. So the three notes in our subdominant chord are A flat, C flat, and E flat. Now, for the dominant seven chord, we go up one more step to get to the dominant, so from scale degree four of A flat, we go up one more to B flat, and then we stack our thirds. So a third above B flat is D, but because of the key signature, it's a D flat. A third above that is an F, and a third above that is an A, but because of the key, it is an A flat. Because we are in a minor key, the most important thing we need to do is add that leading tone. So the leading tone is always a half step below the root of the scale. So in the key of E flat, a half step below E flat is D. Another way we can do this is taking the second note of our chord and raising it a half step. So if we look at that second note, because of our key signature, it is a D flat. We would raise it a half step, not with a sharp, but we would put a natural, because we're going from the key below D to a D. So now we have a D natural. So the four notes in our dominant seven chord, B flat, D natural, F and A. Now that we got the notes of our three primary chords, we can play the progression. Now for the right hand chord progression. One, three, and five, E flat, G flat, and B flat. Our hand opens up, so our thumb stays anchored over our E flat, third finger opens to A flat, and our pinky goes to C flat. This is a key of a B, but remember, in this key, it is written as a C flat. So let's play our subdominant. We're gonna go back to our tonic triad in a root position, E flat, G flat, and B flat. And now we are going to open our hand just a little bit. The thumb goes to D natural, fourth finger's over A flat still, and our pinky is over B flat. This is our dominant seven in the key of E flat minor. And now we go back to our root position, tonic triad, E flat, G flat, and B flat. Now our left hand, so we're going to play E flat, G flat, and B flat with our left hand on five, three, and one. Now we are going to move our thumb up to C flat, which is the key of a B, second finger over A flat, and pinky over E flat. We're gonna go back to our tonic triad and root position, E flat, G flat, and B flat, five, three, and one. We're gonna open that pinky to a D natural, our leading tone, second finger's over A flat, thumb is over B flat, and then we're going to go back to our tonic triad and root position, five, three, and one, E flat, G flat, and B flat. Now we need to play our tonic triad as an arpeggio. So we have the three notes, E flat, G flat, and B flat. We are going to play these same three notes, but we are just going to space them out. So it is a broken chord, an arpeggio. Pay attention to the fingering and the hand position to get the technique down for this black key only arpeggio. All right, we are going to be playing our 
tonic arpeggio, tonic triad arpeggio. So make sure that your hand is open before you start playing. The black keys are obviously smaller than the white keys, and because this chord is only black keys, you have a smaller margin for air on the notes you're playing. So let's make sure we get these right. So one, two, and three, and even that pinky are open over E flat, G flat, B flat, and the E flat on top. So let's play our notes separately. So one on E flat, two on G flat, as my third finger plays the B flat, my thumb tucks underneath to the E flat, and my hand opens up to my remaining three notes. G flat with the second finger, B flat with the third finger, and my pinky is on E flat. Now I'm going back down. So third finger still on B flat, second finger still on G flat, thumb is still on E flat, third finger crosses over to B flat, and my hand slides into the next two notes, second finger on G flat, thumb on E flat. So pinky is going to be on E flat, third finger is on G flat, second finger is on B flat, and my thumb is on E flat. We're going to play all four of these notes one at a time. So pinky on the E flat, third finger on G flat, second finger on B flat, and our thumb is on E flat. Cross over your third finger to G flat, slide the second finger into B flat, and the thumb is over E flat. Now we're going to go back down, so don't move your hand. Second finger still over B flat. Third finger over G flat. My thumb is tucking across. It lands on the E flat. My hand opens up into the next three notes. Second finger over B flat. Third finger over G flat. Pinky over E flat. That is a wrap for the key of E flat minor. I really hope you learned something informative and helpful for your piano journey from the video. As always, feed that algorithm monster. So likes, comments, subscriptions, they all go a long way to getting this content out to more music students. If you appreciate what I'm doing here, please check out the link to the shop below. Definitely really cool merch items and designs custom made by me. So I know that I like them. <laughs> I hope that you do too. As always, keep up that practice. You got this. Stay powerful, y'all.